Good morning, my name is Kevin Farmer. I'm the curator for history and archaeology at the Barbados Museum and Historical Society. I've got a story to tell you. Everyone knows this as the Chase Vault, um, especially when it came to the last burial, the governor of the island got involved. The walls were sealed. He placed his own seal along the edges of the wall. Ever members, prominent members of, of, of the island also placed little marks and etchings. And they waited a while, came back, realized that the seals were not in any way disturbed. So clearly no one was getting in and out that way. The walls were taken down, someone wiggled their way inside, and lo and behold, the six coffins were all over the place. And that really, really, freaked everyone out, especially since they'd sprinkled sand on the floor of the vault to see if they picked up any footprints. No footprints. And these massive lead coffins. So you had to be really strong to be moving these coffins about. And the largest coffin, that of Chase, after it was said it required between six and seven men to actually move his coffin. The sand sprinkled down was undisturbed. It just remains a fantastic mystery as to how these six coffins lead coffins, which are going to be heavy, simply got moved around without there seeming any disturbance um, to the vault itself. People from Dungan Oystins here, just all thronged around this particular vault, waiting to see what happens next. And what happens next is all of their worst fears are confirmed. Coffins are moved and there is no evidence of a physical human person being involved in their movement. And that's it. So up to this day, it still remains a mystery. It's one that's never, never been solved. Perhaps you can solve it. I'll say the best time, moonlight, full moon, come to the Chase Vault and see if you can solve that mystery.